Suzuki was walking through the forest. The sun was rising and glinting off the deep snow which was still covering the ground. She had been uncomfortable all night, and though being up on her paws was helping, as she rode through each wave of pain as it came. Time seemed to be still. She wasn't aware of what she was doing or what was going on around her. She was just focused on the moment, wondering when her kits would arrive. She glanced up to notice she had reached the edge of Honey Clan's main hunting territory. How had she got here, she wondered. She braced her shoulder to push through the carefully intertwined bushes as the most intense wave of pain hit her greatly expanded belly. She gasped as the world span and went dark. Suki gently fell to the ground, cushioned by the deep snow. When Suki came to, she was aware of Cloud Whisker standing over her, talking to Honeyfur, who was looking worried. Leaf Kit was tucked under Honeyfur's chest in her warm, thick fur. The kit's eyes were wide. She turned to try and see Sandstripe, which was talking to Hazelstar. Her movement caused the branches around her to creak alerting the other cats to her, the fact that she was awake. Cloud Whisker quickly turned to his patient. Suki, you're awake! And there was a pause. Everything's fine. Something in his tone of voice made her think everything was not fine. She looked down to see two small bundles of fur snuggled up against her stomach. She gasped in shock. Her kits, they were here! She twisted around to see them closer, licking them all over. Her tiny babies were finally here. And tiny they were. Nifia was not a time to catch up a kitten, and she had been hungry for weeks, despite Dawnpaw's attempts at hunting for them both. The first kit was the bigger of the two, and, or and was already eating. The second kit was worryingly small, and as she nudged him, she was shocked to find that he was missing a hind leg. She looked closer at his face, and even though his eyes were still closed, she could tell something was wrong. It was like his features were turned in on themselves. But it didn't matter to her. She, he was her kit, and a love like she had never felt before washed over her. He was struggling to feed, and she gave him a couple of gentle licks to encourage him, pushing him closer to her belly. It didn't take long before he found what he was looking for and took several gulps of the life-bringing milk of his mother. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 Warrior Cat. And we are watching Suki with her adorable kit. And I am just very excited to one be back because I have not been able to record for a while. Uh, Christmas is a very busy time and yeah I haven't been able to record and uh, this is uh, just exciting because Suki had her kits and I was getting very confused why I couldn't see the portraits and then I remembered I turned them off temporarily. Yeah, uh, Suki had her kits. Everyone already knows this, but I'm very excited. So over here we have kit number one. They're both two little Toms and this is the older kit and he is so cute with his little smush face. And he has humongous ears. So yeah, this is kit number one. And then we have his brother over here with Suki, who is kit number two. And um, I don't know names yet, but uh, this little one over here, he is very weak. Um, that is a good point. Before I do anything else and before I forget, Cloud Whisker did actually use medical items on them. I just forgot to add it into the story. Uh, so yeah. I need to delete all three of these plasma beetles. He had to use three plasma beetles because Suki lost so much blood. Um, and also the kits uh, had to, both of them had to be revived. Uh, oh, there. Why did that happen? No, I meant to sell it. Why did that just appear there? That's weird. Right, sell these. Why does it keep on appearing? That's so weird. Oh my god! Can I just, like, delete? What are you? Can I get rid of you? Also, Cloud Whisker, you don't have fleas. You can't have fleas. You are a medicine cat. There we go. Um, 
so yeah, uh, he had to use quite a few medical items on them, all of this chaotic little family. We still don't know who the father of Suki's kits is. Oh, that's Leaf Kit. Didn't mean to click on Leaf Kit. Leaf Kit is um, a bit confused. Uh, one minute Suki's disappeared from camp, and then the next minute she uh, appears with two kits. And Leaf Kit is still a kit herself. She doesn't really understand the whole concept of having kits. So, yeah, she's very confused. She didn't understand what any of the cats were saying because they were talking and Leaf Kit can't hear them. So, she's kind of, kind of very confused. And I think she's maybe trying to, what are you doing? You're going to groom yourself. What are you going to do, Violet Paul? You're going to go nuzzle Shard Fang. Uh, uh, maybe she might have tried to talk Violet Paul, but I think Violet Paul is going to go snug. <laughs> Nuzzle Shardfang, so maybe Shardfang might be feeling a bit sad that his son isn't an, um, no longer here. Considering that the dust paw is kind of like, mm, no, I'd rather be a petal paw and straight up left his family. That isn't exactly the best thing. Um, everyone has fleas. I need to get Crabless to cure these fleas because their percentage of getting sick is higher. Oh, he's like, no, no, I do not want nuzzles. Uh, and now he's gonna go groom Hazel Star. He's like, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be nuzzled by you, but I'll be nuzzled by my leader. <sighs> Actually, Hazel Star's coming to groom him, not nuzzle him, and I think that's because she's had enough of the fleas. Because I'm pretty sure Hazel Star has fleas as well. Yeah. She's gonna go groom Yeah, she just wants to groom everyone. She has had enough of these fleas. It's a flea infestation. She is not not happy. So, oh, that's actually really cute. Hang on, I want to take photos of these two being cute because it's cute. <laughs> Hazel Star has had enough of the flea infestation and she is just like, no, no, if the Cloud Whisker isn't going to do anything this about this, I'm going to try and do something about it. And Honeyfur, ah, you pest of a little adorable cat. You're going to go catch something, that's fine. But you first need to do fishing. I'll only get at you to do it twice because you're a queen, but you still have to have the penalty of going to drink from the waterfall. Uh, where are you going, Violet Paul? Do you go and practice your hunting? Okay. Little kits are so cute and I'm, I'm like excited to have kits in the clan. And I have what the? What, how did I end up all the way up here? Yeah, it's exciting to have kits in the clan again, considering Leaf Kit is going to be turning into an apprentice relatively soon. Oh, and Leaf Oh, I need photos. Why? Why is? Why are you all so cute? Why? But yeah, Leaf Kit is going to be turning into an apprentice relatively soon, so it's kind of nice to have kits in the clan. Though, they are young and there is no, um, words. There are no words, no. There's no... Oh, can't think of the word. Basically, we don't know if they are going to survive or not. So they could... Maybe they get a bad case of the flu or something. And they end up passing away. Um, this this little, little Tom kit over here, Tom Cat, uh, is very sick. He is very sick. He has... Um, I don't know if we can see it or if Suki's hiding it. There we go. He is missing a hind leg. He was born without a hind leg. He also, uh, his eyes, he, ooh, lag. He has a squint in his eyes. It just doesn't show up on kids. Um, and, um, yeah, we don't know what other underlying health problems he might have. Suki wasn't exactly well throughout her pregnancy. She was always hungry because... It was only her and Dawnpaw who <laughs> has decided to come back over here, right? Dawnpaw, you can go home now. Come on. You can go home. Let's go home. I did send him home, but I think the game was just like, nah, nah, I don't want to send you home. Um, <laughs> that's kind of amusing. But yeah, Dawnpaw's heading home now. Uh, oh, Adaclaw managed to catch something. Good job. And <laughs> now you're grooming yourself. I think everyone's just had enough of these fleas. The fleas are very annoying. <laughs> Cloud Whisker, you can't. No, you're. Oh, why did you throw up? You threw up somewhere because you just got rid of a hairball. 
Medicine cats don't get hairballs. Well, technically they can, but like in the uh, rules of this, they don't. Don't. Oh my god, you two. I think because Leaf Kit and Petal Paw were kits at the same time. Though Leaf Kit has been a kit longer than most kits would be, one of the ages decided to be very annoying and reset. Um, <laughs> that was great. And also because, again, Leaf Kit wasn't exactly a healthy kit when she was born. Leaf Kit. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> my recording just cut out. Damn it. Okay, uh, Leaf Kit did lose her brother. Um, Hanifa lost her, her son when Leaf Kit was born. So, yeah, uh, Leaf Kit wasn't exactly the healthiest of kits, and so she was a, a little adorable apprentice, uh, apprentice kit, for a lot longer than normal kits would be kits. She should have grown up about a moon after these guys, and it has been several moons now, and she is not yet an apprentice, but, uh, she will age up in eight days. It was six last time I checked. I swear this just keeps on increasing. So, oh, it's the full moon today. Well, I might send my cats down to the gathering. It depends. We have had just had the um, birth of two new kits. And I think everyone's kind of getting over the fact that Suki's back. But I think Angel Wing, if no one else, would kind of slip down to the gathering to see if she can meet up with Feathertail. And also, I think everyone's had enough of the snow too. Because she is just like, ah, And come in here and I keep on going into the rocks that's that's fun that's great uh Adaclaw is being pounced on by Shardfang Shardfang is getting he is getting older he oh okay this was the first catch something uh, he is getting older he is quite an old cat really what happened now I have no idea what just happened Cloud Whisker is, oh, I think Cloud Whisker maybe is trying to reassure Honeyfur he's going to go catch something. If the medicine cats decide to catch stuff on their own, I'm fine with that. And Honeyfur is going to be pounced on by Dawnball. Oh, Hazel Star and Thistle Whisker are training. That's cute. Lily, you're fine. You don't have needs. You are, you are a tree. Trees do not have <laughs> sweet needs. Um... Adipo, you're just gonna go sleep. Okay. How are you feeling, Angel Wing? Okay. You, who do you want to sniff? You want to sniff Dawnpool? Where's Dawnpool? What are you doing? You're pouncing on Violet Paul. That's fine. I think the apprentices are training. And Thistle Whisker. Oh, Thistle Whisker. No. If you are hungry, you can do some hunting. You also need to pee. Right. You can come do some hunting. You can hunt oops, six times. And then Hazel Star. I think I'm just going to send out the uh, Dawn Hunting Patrol so everyone can hunt six times. Sandstripe. It's weird sending Sandstripe hunting because she's been a queen for like a really long time and I still haven't quite adjusted to the fact that she isn't a queen. <laughs> uh, Shellpaw. I'm actually. Shellpaw isn't doing anything so she can come and hunt. But I think she's only, only hunt four times. Uh, Dust Paw and Violet Paw training. I think they're still they're still getting to know one another. They're still kind of coming to the terms that they are actually siblings. Uh, Copper Pelt, you are really tired. You can sleep. Uh, meet someone new. Hmm. Maybe Copper Pelt might accompany Angel Wing down to the gathering. Oh, that is nope. That was good. Nope. <laughs> I am sorry. Oh, somebody threw up. Don't know where that came from. Go away, vomit. Not want that. Uh, have you got anything you can eat? No. No, these are all medical items. Of course. <laughs> Actually, you can eat that if you want to. You can come over and eat this tiny people. That I don't even know where he got it from. He probably just like found it scuttling around his den and got annoyed because it was messing up the herbs and caught it. Shardbang, where are you going? Uh, Shardbang. You're gonna go jump up on something. Why? Oh, no. Lily, I don't care. Why are you even getting, like, I don't know, whatever that was. Oh, who's, wh why is little, 
this little kid gonna go pounce on you? He is actually, he is healthy. After he ate the rainbow beetle, he uh, had a full recovery, so he, um, he didn't actually need to sleep for as long as his brother. His brother needs to be asleep all day today. And I think Suki will probably stay in the den most of the day. She is doing better, but she is still very tired and she is hungry, so I will get her up to go eat something. But this little cheeky kid is going to go pounce on uh, Violet Paw. That's so cute. Oh, do you need a wiggle bum? Oh, they're so cute. Also, I swear I heard someone fighting. Chad Fang, were you trying to catch something? <laughs> Everyone's hunting. Hanifa! What are you doing? What? No, bad Hanifa. Bad Hanifa. Dawnpaw? No. Why do the cats... Dawnpaw, if you want something to eat, you can hunt. No, don't don't go to sleep. Don't mean to click on that one. Yeah, Dawnpaw, you're an apprentice. You can hunt. Um, Though I feel like he would kind of like... He's been hunting like for a couple of days like solid so i think he wouldn't really want to hunt a ton especially he's got the rest of the clan that can hunt honeyfur if you're hungry you are just gonna have to wait a sec yes you can group yourself um okay random notifications about people i don't even know uh no not suki though suki does have some stuff in her inventory that i will put down the profile it's that pigeon okay uh, random, but sure. Yeah, I can put these down the pro pile. Who else has caught stuff? Okay. Who, wh when did you catch a yellow, uh, can't read that word. Snake. What, when, when? Adaclora's just, like, been catching medical items. I, I haven't decided if the yellow snake is a medical item yet. But, like, the only thing I can put down is, like, this honey ant that he would probably give to honey because they are her favourite food. Sandstripe managed to catch a pygmy tortoise. Um, Cloudwhisker does have enough tortoises currently. Tortoises are used to cure the cold. Uh, a gecko, good job. And you're fighting a snake. Why? <laughs> oh, little miss. Why are you trying to catch this snake? Why? If you fail, you are going to get bitten. And actually, it's not a brightly coloured snake, so it doesn't actually matter. But still, you need to be a little more cautious. We can't just go around hunting snakes. Well, you can't. Wait, why is everyone catching snakes? And these red assassin beetles. And now he's trying to catch a plasma beetle. He's like, you used up medical items on Suki. I must now catch all the medical items. You are hilarious, Stormpaw. You are just... Oh so cute right photos <laughs> violet paw is just like running where are you going violet paw no that's a uh, shovel okay uh you did you manage to catch it no be more careful madam oh the snow's melting that's good uh thistle whisker okay I'm going to actually get you to do a bit of fishing. You can do four lots of fishing, but then I am going to get Angelwing to probably come over and groom you to get all the cold water off of you because you will get very cold very fast. I think that's where Cloud Whisker threw up earlier and I just couldn't see it. Oh, Sandstripe leveled up. That actually reminds me. What do you have? Okay, so she does have um, beetle things. Oh. I can't read it. <laughs> so that's good. I really want... I just heard a eagle. Oh, you want to... How much... Okay, you want to groom your daughter more than you want to play. But I just heard an eagle. Where? Oh. <laughs> uh, this rat has... Uh, hmm. This, this rat is going slightly crazy. Where is little kit number t uh, one? Okay, I think with the sound of an eagle, Shellpaw's over here, and she would definitely... They, they've they had run-ins with eagles at Broken Clan. She remembers when Dustpaw got dropped off by an eagle, and he is actually going to come over and sniff her, so I think she would kind of gather him up and send him and Leafkit down into the nursery. 
because she doesn't want anything bad to happen to them. Also, I think I might do something with the kit um, for Christmas. I might just do like a little bonus video where the kits maybe like decorate the tree in here because that would be cute. Uh, no, wrong cat. <laughs> right, you all come down here and Violet Boy, then you can pee. Uh, where's... There we go, Dawn Paw. You are still hunting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right. I'm also going to go through people's inventories again. Ah, slagging. I also have realized I don't really have an apprentice den. Uh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have an apprentice den that isn't very practical. Hazel Star. Okay, the snake. No, the snake needs to go in the prey pile. Lizard can go in the prey pile. This thing can go in the prey pile. That can go in the prey pile. Uh, these can also go in the prey pile. Good job, Hazel Star, for catching all these. All the prey. The, all the all the prey. Yeah, all the prey. <laughs> Adaclaw, what have you got? There isn't medical items. Nothing. That's that's great. Well, you can go over and give those to Cloud Whisker in a bit. Honeyfur? How did you catch a shark and a crocodile? From... From... The, the, this. Why are there sharks and crocodiles in here? How are there sharks and crocodiles in here? Hmm... This game can be kind of concerning sometimes. But you can put those in the profile because... It's their food. Uh, again, we have plenty of medical tortoises, so we can just chuck these down and they can come and eat these. Copper Pearl. Oh, he's managed to catch some birds. I don't usually get birds. Like, I'll occasionally grab some birds. Um, they'll occasionally hunt some birds. Oh, you managed to catch a jellyfish. Well, at least Cloud was going to be happy because that's another thing that can cure poison. But if you fail to catch one, it can poison you. So it's kind of a... Oh. My brain's just not working with, with generally speaking today. Hanifa, you are going to goof around with Shardfang. If Shardfang stopped hunting, did I even send him hunting? Good god. Why do you catch so many, like, um, rainbow beetles? There is no ocean spawners in here and we're still catching rainbow beetles and sharks so <laughs> i would love to know why the sims is like mm, no you you can have some sharks now uh i can't remember if i don't think i sent him hunting where's sandstripe sandstripe still hunting honey fur yeah you're gonna go goof around with him you actually really want to sniff shellpaw and shellpaw isn't actually doing anything well she's doing her last round of hunting so i think after that you can come sniff her and Lily's garden is currently all dormant. It's great. Where is Lily? Like, just wanting to know. Why are you over here? Uh, no. You can come back into your garden. Shellpaw! Oop! I just moved again. <laughs> no, you're not Shellpaw, damn it. Oh, she's trying to catch the tortoise. How are the little kids doing? Oh! Somebody's awake. <laughs> Yeah, no, you are going to deplete your energy need. Suki, energy need is also going to be depleted. Angel Wing, it's dark, so I think she would start going, heading down. She might actually come over to the prey pile and grab something for her journey, so... Angel Wing can be a bit of a selfish cat, so I don't think she would really mind grabbing something like big, like, um, like this nice, like, uh, parakeet. I think that's what it's called. And I don't think she would mind kind of being selfish and taking that for herself. Uh, also, Copper Pelt, you are hungry. You need to scratch. Come and eat something. Of course, that has gone bad. Oh, yay, we get the nice music of the full moon. I need to find something. I need a crocodile. And she... Oh! She is not happy. I know Honeyfur would love to groom you, but I'm sorry Honeyfur, you have to stay here, and we are kind of just running, so... Uh, full moon. Eh, 
area. Okay. The glowing willows. Twin willows. One of those two. Right. You can come here with shard fang. No, not shard fang. Copper pelt. Where is he? Copper pelt. Um, I think hazel star would probably go down as well. Though cloud whisker would be... I'm pretty sure cloud whisker would be too worried about the kits to go down. And I don't think they're really going to go down for a proper meeting. Uh, they're probably just going to kind of go down and tell them news about Suki's kits and just generally it's not like a proper gathering the apprentices maybe hmm I feel like Shellpaw maybe might see how is what is your relationship with Angel Wing okay she doesn't hate her I think Shellpaw might see the fact that Angel Wing's slipping away and go hmm where is she going and follow her and then she'll actually get to talk to her brother because I feel like Broken Clan would do the usual gathering and not just take like three cats. <laughs> so she will follow Angel Wing down here. You can go down here. Hmm, Honeyfur. What are you doing? Where? What? Okay, you're gonna go catch something, that's fine. So yeah, Shelpaw will probably uh, follow Angel Wing. She doesn't hate Angel Wing. Um, so she'll probably just follow Angel Wing. And I think Thistle Whisker, I think Angel Wing maybe prob probably try to persuade Thistle Whisker to come down. And he's like, no. Because Thistle Whisker, oh, he's trying to nuzzle little Kit. Thistle Whisker, of course he loves Angel Wing, Angel Wing is his mate, but also there were just kids born in the clan and Hazelstar didn't exactly ask him to come, so I don't think he would have would have come. I don't- Angel Wing doesn't really get the whole uh, leader asks you to go to gathering, you go to gathering thing. She's like, mm, I don't care if you ask me, I'm going to the gathering. Uh, so yeah, Hazelstar I think Hazelstar originally was just going to go down on her own, and then uh, Angel Wing and Copper Pearl were like, well, Copper Pearl's like, I'll go, and Angel Wing kind of just followed him, and then Shellpaw is following Angel Wing. So, yeah, uh, Copper Pelt. Oops, Suki. Come on, you need to get up now. Right, hang on, let me roll for Suki. She's fine. Everything's good. <laughs> I think she might just be feeling, um, like maybe the effects of some of the herbs cloud whisker gave her are wearing off so you can come eat and scratch was that survey no that was scratch good and i just need to make sure your kit stays asleep oh my god this kit is so freaking cute i love him <laughs> why are you so cute explain to me little one he's like guarding this fish he is the first, actually no, um, I think, um, Sandstripes Litter used to do it occasionally, but he is like the first kit that will purposely come over and guard. He is a little hunter and a uh, hyper, and then, yeah, his brother is exactly the same, so. Leaf kit, how come you have three, three traits leaf kit? I, I, I'm confused. Also, I love the fact the kit's just like, nah, I don't want to be in the nursery. I'll be down here. <laughs> Alright. Are you tired at all? No. Of course not. Suki, you need to get up. Oh, no, no, you do not. No. You will come back and you will sleep in this pet bed, mister. Come back and sleep in this pet bed. <laughs> I know you want to be up. You can be up in the next episode, but you cannot be up now. So cute. Uh, that's great. Um, okay, Hazel Star. Yeah, she's she's heading down. Uh, he's okay. Angel Wing's kind of leading everyone. She's coming, coming and heading around the uh, odd herb place. And there is a horse because why not? Uh, Thistle Whisker. just sleeping. He's probably worried about Angel Wing considering she kind of just went off in a huff because he said he wouldn't go to the gathering with her. 
and yeah. Also, Angel Wing is not happy about the kits being here. She's one, I don't think she's even like came over and acknowledged the fact that li this little kit is even up. Um, and two, she's like just stroppy. <laughs> she's a very stroppy cat, naturally. She's yeah, and with the fact that Suki had kits in the middle of winter, she may be stroppy, but she's a very caring cat. And when, well, if or when she has kits. Like, she's she's waiting for winter to be over. It's irresponsible for a queen to have kits in winter. And I think she's, like, he, like really is annoyed at Suki for doing that. Because now her kits are ill. And Angel Wing may be grumpy and sassy sometimes. But she is a very caring cat at heart. Uh, the what? Oh, okay. Uh, random cat. <laughs> Sandstripe, you need to. Who's. No, don't sleep. Hang on. You need to. Can you socialize? You're gonna go chase your, the, the little kit. Who is. Some. I don't think he's related to you, but he's. <sighs> yeah, I don't. The family tree is very confusing because Sandstripe is. Oop. The. Sandstripe. Uh, Adaclaw is Sandstripe's brother, and then Sandstripe's mate is Honeyfur, who is Suki's sister. It's very confusing. Um, oh, Suki. So, yeah. Uh, oh, follow. Wait, where's Angel Wing? Let's see what Angel Wing's doing. How far until the. Okay, they got a while to go. They're crossing through... Oh, I'm glad they didn't get hit by many monsters. They're crossing through this big bit of territory. This area is kind of like... Just a big... Probably a big park where their two legs go to walk dogs and stuff. Um, or maybe like... Just like... A general just park area. It's like... No one really lives here. It would be hard... For a clan to live here. Probably. Though... If I did decide a clan would be here, I'd probably remake the uh, territory, but yeah, she's just crossing through here. There are also a um, quite a few flowers. Uh, I haven't removed these because I didn't think the cows would come down here. Why is there a meteor here? Hmm. Bit concerning. All right. There we go. Now we can see Angel Wing a bit better. But we do have like the barns and stuff around. That again isn't the best if you want a clan because you're this this area is kind of like trapped between several thunder paths and yep there's the twin willows so angel wing so cute i love her <laughs> she's a really pretty cat I love these cats. <laughs> and okay, so Angel Wing has arrived. Currently no one else is here, but I think she's probably got here a bit early. So yeah, I'm actually going to have to end this video here. So yeah, in the next one, we'll probably do a bit of a gathering. So thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to join us. And I do hope you have a lovely day. Bye!